you've got any as well, if you want to give us what your uh, views are on any of that too, get in touch with us more for me a bit later on. Thank you very much. Now, it was the uh, soap set in Spain that the BBC hoped would bring a little sunshine to the TV schedules, but El Dorado, do you remember it? It lasted, lasted only one year. 25 years on, you may be surprised to learn that the, the set is still standing. Uh, in a forest near to Costa del Sol. Our arts correspondent, David Silito, has been in search of El Dorado and asks if, in the age of Brexit, is it the right time to revisit the idea of a Euro soup? Oh, hello. I'm looking for El Dorado. OK, I have slightly exaggerated how hard it is to find, but here it is, the original set of the short-lived soap El Dorado. Intact, abandoned. It all feels a bit Indiana Jones and the ghost of soap's past. Welcome to Las Terrazas. I'm a drunkard, I know why, huh? You really want to know, yes. do you? All right, then I'll tell you. Yes, Drew is not your father. Marcus Tandy has met with an unfortunate accident. His car caught fire, went up like a bomb, and didn't stand a chance. Hello, darling. <laughs> and one of its main stars was Polly Perkins. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Just I'll have to leave you here, darling. I've got to open up the shop. What am I going to do with him? I don't know, but I wouldn't give her any more brandies, dear. She'll be singing the theme from that story in a minute. 25 years on, I asked, fancy a trip back to El Dorado? What are your thoughts looking at it? Well, I think it's a terrible shame. I mean, what a waste. What a waste. There were good actors here. There were good storylines here. It was, it was beautiful. Would you want to bring El Dorado back? Yes, absolutely. Why not? There's a lot of people uh, now, since when I work, you know, in a show or do something, for, oh, what happened to El Dorado? Escape of and it's not just Polly who would love to see it return. Ten million watched the final episode, but what would today's storyline be? And so I went in search of the real-life El Dorado set on the Costa del Sol. Colin's jive class was in full swing. Is this El Dorado? Yeah, if I'm honest, I think it is. It seems like heaven. It is. It is. <laughs> Of course, El Dorado in 1992 reflected a time of deepening European ties. The Brexit vote in 2016 changed everything. Well, they all panicked because of the Brexit. They quickly just sold their properties. They didn't want to wait to know what was going to happen. Of course, most stayed. And their mood now? It's all the wait and see when people say it's going to be this, it's going to be that. I say, nobody knows. It's all ifs and buts. Nobody has come out and said, this is what will affect you, this is what won't affect you. Whatever happens, happens. And so, it may have been mocked at the time, but 25 years on, the set's ready to go, just in case someone thinks now's a good time for a turbulent Euro drama. David Silito, BBC News, on the Costa del Sol. I think David makes a very good case for another one, another El Dorado. I loved it. Do you, really? Yes. Once it's gone, it's gone. Though. You can't bring something back after that oh, one, can you? Come on. It wasn't a success at the time. Sometimes you've got to just cut the tyres and <laughs> go. release. Uh, let us know what you think. You can email us, talk about it on uh, Facebook or on Twitter, whatever you like.